morning. We are now in Myeongdong queuing up for some famous dumplings. Yeah, this is the Myeongdong Kyoja main store. It's super crowded out now. We've got tons of people everywhere. Look at the queue. Whoa. Oh, the queue is mad. Hopefully the dumplings are as good as they're supposed to be. Yeah. I can't wait to eat because we're starving. Right now we're headed in. We're almost there at the front of the queue. Later on, we'll be walking around Myeongdong Shopping Street, followed by a barbecue dinner at night. Yep, can't wait. Yeah. If you look carefully, you can see the number of Michelin awards they have at the bottom. First item on the menu, we're gonna try the kalguksu first. We've got some noodles. Ooh, looks good. Thin dumplings as well. I'm gonna mix it up a bit. It has a very strong meaty flavor. It's seasoned quite well. It's a little bit on the oily side. It's more flavorful. Mm. But I think the most interesting thing is that the soup taste is like what you get when you fry teppanyaki. You put teppanyaki on the grill when you're cooking up the meat, and then you have black pepper sauce and everything. But they made it into a soup. It was quite interesting. Not what I expected at all. Oh, super big and juicy. Ooh, look at the steam. Mm. Nicely seasoned meat. The shives go really well with the meat. It's reasonably juicy and quite a hearty bite. So the last item here is the bibimbuksu. And try it. Mm. <laughs> oh, these are really good. So the noodles are light and springy. They've got a nice chew to it, which I personally enjoy a lot. They are very cold. And the sauce is a chili sauce that's slightly spicy, but I feel a bit sweet as well. So it goes really, really well together. And the cucumber really brings in a lot of that freshness. Really helps to balance the dish out a lot. It's a sweet and spicy kind of flavor. The noodles are a bit quite chewy actually. This blend of like flavors is not something that I really like. It's, it's not my taste I feel. We just finished our lunch at the Myeongdong Kyoja store. The food was really nice, lots of new and interesting flavors. Yeah, my favorite was the kalguksu noodles. Oh, I prefer the bibimbuksu actually. Slight spiciness, the sweetness, and the fact that the noodles were just cold. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. There's something that we noticed while we're in Korea that people here eat super fast. Like the turnover for them is like two tables, but we're still eating. Yeah, they outsized their noodles, gulped it all down, had another person come in, upsized their food. Like, they really just inhaled it. <laughs> yeah, and then like, we're still eating. But now that we're done with our meal, we're just gonna walk through the Myeongdong street, check out what stories they have to offer. Let's go! How's it? I like the seasoning. It's cheese seasoning. Um, potato wise, it's a little bit plain without the seasoning actually. 
This is Cheetos cheese. Uh huh. It tastes exactly like Cheetos. Not bad. A little bit pricey. It is, it is. Yeah, five bucks for one. A little bit pricey. <laughs> it's everywhere, so you just gotta follow the trends. <laughs> Dong and it's super crowded. There are so many stores for you to take a look at as well. But it's getting a bit late. We're here to meet our extended family. And we're now here at Wangbi Jeep. Yeah, it's a Korean barbecue restaurant. Yeah, super excited to try everything. Yeah, because we have so many people so we can get to order a lot of things. Yes, can't wait for that. Let's go! Okay, three, three, so that's eight. One Iberico, two Iberico from Taylor, so that's ten. Yeah. So one of this, one of this, oh, two, two of this. this. It's one of the beef pieces, no idea what. Mm. Very juicy, tender, char from the barbecue, smoky flavor. Look at the beef. Put some salt. Mm. Are you frying it? <laughs> Not yet. Sorry, is that the Iberico pork? Okay. This is the Iberico pork. It's supposed to have a nuttier flavor than normal pork. Let's see if I can taste the difference. <laughs> it's just different, I cannot tell. Oh my god. I don't this... understand. Okay, the Iberico. The Iberico is nuttier. The flavor is richer. When you taste it, you can tell that there's a clear difference from the normal pork. Completely different in taste. Basically, the Wagyu or pork. So we got some beef tatar. We got some Asian pear on the side. Whoa. Let me try a bit. Oh, look at the marbling. <laughs> it's actually salty. I think they seasoned the top of it. Interesting texture actually. In terms of the gaminess, it's not there. Not a very strong beefy flavor. Surprisingly quite fresh tasting. And with the additional sweetness from the Asian pear. Quite an interesting flavor. Not bad at all. Yeah. Why do you say that when it's the frown? It just doesn't taste like beef. Eda. <laughs> 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 And here we have the mainstay feature of Korean buildings. More staircases!
walked along the crowd at Myeongdong Night Market. Yeah, it's yeah. snowing a little bit and it looks amazing. Yeah, the snow is super pretty and what a wonderful surprise to end of the night. Here is actually quite different from all the other night markets that we've been to. Surprisingly, quite a lot of options here as well. Yeah, I'm so tempted but... Aren't you full yet? Oh, we had so much to eat. So I think we just gotta go back and rest up. So we're ending here for this one. Good night! Bye.